our travels, we have been visiting Lake Gerda, Italy's largest lake, and checking out its amazing towns. Today, we were heading to our final town on Lake Gerda to visit Limone Sul Garda before our next adventure in the Dolomites. This town I had been waiting so long to see and I was so excited to finally get there. Limone is located at the most northwestern bank of Lake Gerda and what makes it so picturesque, aside from its colorful buildings, small alleyways and stunning waterfront, is the fact that it's built into the base of a mountain. It's surrounded by lush vegetation, including lots of lemon groves, hence its name, Limone, which means lemon in Italian. But these lemon groves are also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and you will find all things lemon in Limone Silgarda, including a lemon museum. There are hiking trails and one of the most incredible bike trails that you've ever seen and all offer stunning views of the lake and the surrounding mountains. Limone is a very popular tourist destination. It also had its claim to fame in the 2008 James Bond movie Quantum of Solace. It's not the easiest place to get to. You can get to it via ferry or boat or as we did by driving on the narrow single lane road above the town. But it is highly congested and we got lucky with parking. Welcome to Limone. wanted to visit Limone since the last time we visited Lake Garda, but I didn't realize how big at that time Lake Garda was. Um, that <laughs> from Sermone, um, Sermone, last time it was gonna be a two hour trip to come over here to Limone. Um, I really wanted to go bike riding here. We've now kind of scouted it out. It's a little bit far from the town where the actual path starts and it gets onto the main road and you have to go through a couple tunnels. So I'm not sure that we're gonna go bike riding. I'd like to still walk the path because it's really amazing. Um, when else have you ever seen a bike path that goes along the side of a mountain and along the side of the lake? Literally kind of built over it. Um, hopefully you'll see. Um, but we'll have to play it by ear. We're gonna head back that way after we check out the town. Um, and you know, hopefully we get to be a part of it, but just seeing it as we passed, I'm not so sure right the second. <laughs> First thing we did was to get me some much needed coffee and a delicious Italian pastry. We stopped at the Roxy Bar, Snack Bar, and Gelateria. Breakfast for champions. A Nutella, I'm not sure what you call these, but really great. And my cappuccino. As you can see, they are never shy with the Nutella filling. Amazing. From there we were off to check out more of the Porto Vecchio, the old port, and then Limone's amazing shops up the maze of narrow slopes behind the waterfront promenade.
so obviously being named Limone, this area is known for its lemons. Um, and there's actually a museum. It says the Limone Castle. Um, there's actually a museum that talks about its lemon history as well as their citrus history. So if you're interested, you can go visit that. Do you see those stairs? <laughs> Those flowers are so interesting. I've never seen them before. I so wish I could take a lemon tree back to the US with me. I love those lemons.
Look at the size of the onions. The lemons I expected, the onions and the olives, no. This is simply just so stunning. If you come to Lake Garda, you have to make your way to Limone. Lost track of the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart has gone vacant. And everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. Now I'm driving back on in the state west. I just gotta feel something. Not gonna wait till the morning. Because something's gonna change my mind. I don't wanna change my mind. Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here. Chilling with my friends for another year. I would walk away from the spotlight. Apologetic text, he says to come over. Well, the whole damn town has been waiting for the day when you would come back here. Back here. There was dancing and talking and steaks on the grill, and I think that I will be alright. And my ex from high school still looks just the same as she did back in 2009. I couldn't wait till the morning. Let's never put the night on night. From there, we walked over past the parking lot where we had parked our car and headed towards the beach. The beach was absolutely packed, but that's because it was such a beautiful day and the beach area was gorgeous. walking, it was time for a bite to eat and to relax for a bit because I was feeling quite exhausted. It's so nice of them to cut it for us. Of course, how to have some lemon sorbet. I think I almost said limoncello because I was that tired, but it was just sorbet. After eating, we decided to drive over near where the bike trail started to see if the tiny parking area right before the trail had any available parking. And we were in luck. We found a spot. I was so excited to at least get to walk some of the trail. The path is stunning and like no other bike trail or bike path that I had ever seen before. So I did really want to rent a bike and um, ride on this trail, but it is quite ambitious to do so. Um, and it's also a bit away from the town. You're riding actually in the middle of the street, um, a busy street um, for quite some time until you actually get to the trail. So I'm really glad that we're at least walking on the trail, but it's pretty amazing. I mean, I've never seen a bike trail that goes on the outside of a tunnel. So it's really cool. The fact that this trail went around the outside of a mountain tunnel literally attached to the outside of a mountain 
and with just incredible views of Lake Garda, made this trail like no other. The path itself is four kilometers long. The track knots along the rocks and was built with concrete panels covered with a slated finish that reproduces the spectacular effect of wood. It was very cute but also quite funny that there was a bachelorette party riding down the trail led by the bride and followed by her bridesmaids in pink shirt. I had such high expectations for visiting Limone Salgarda and Limone didn't disappoint. I might even go as far as saying that I think that Limone might be my favorite town on Lake Garda. Make sure that you're subscribed because in our next episode, we head to the Dolomites. See you next time.